Hey, this is Fernando, and so as promised, I'm going to go ahead now and share with you the steps to take the one video that I, I just shot as a Facebook Live, which you see here on the screen, and show you how to syndicate that across multiple platforms. Also, I'm going to use the same video to create a blog post on my uh, page, on my website, and also how to send that out to my list as part of my weekly reach out to my list contact. And this is something that you can do twice a week. So the first thing we do is I have an extension here called um, Facebook Video Downloader, which you can just grab through Chrome extensions. So I'm not going to spend time showing you how to get all the tools. That will take over an hour to do that. Uh, suffice for you to know that there's an extension. You can go and get the extension. And all I need to do here is show the video URL, copy that. And then I can click on my little tool downloader, paste it in here. That's going to start to download. Syndicate content from Facebook Live. So I'll save that. I'll call it one. We'll see why in a, in a minute. So that's only a 6.9 megabyte video. So I'm going to go ahead and create. Uh, the image for my blog post and also the video uh, for my blog post. So I use Keynote, so I'm going to go to Keynote, which is a Mac application. And I'm just going to go File, there we go. So this opens up my template that I already have created. And just going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, then I could just grab the video and drop that in here. And I just need to change the uh, details here. How to syndicate content from Facebook Live. multiple social platforms and then we just go file export to QuickTime and we change that to zero change that to zero okay So that's now exported. If I go to my files, downloads, I should see it there. Uh, it says it's 90 megabytes. That's fine. That's not too big. If I double click on that, it should play as a video. Imagine if you could use. All right, there you go. So now what I can do, that's the. Um, that's the video that I want to export to uh, YouTube. So let's go and upload that one. And I'm going upload that as a private video. So now that I've downloaded the video from uh, quick time to my computer I can now upload that into uh, YouTube so I'm going to upload it here so I'll grab the link and I'm going to put that at the bottom and I might put the content from Facebook just for keyword remembering that Google own YouTube Bottom. and I might put the uh, actually what I'm going to put at the top here is the link to my um, to the blog once I create the blog so now that we have oh, this is still processing okay
Okay, here we are. So that's ready. So I can go and edit. So you see here what this Timmy does is it, um, if I press play, So as it's it's is it is a playback, it highlights the word so I can see how accurate that is. And so I don't want to make too many changes to this um, because I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. It's only for people that actually rather read the words, uh, prefer to read the words other than listen to the to the video. So I've gone ahead and read through the transcript here from the video and made some changes and uh, so I've edited that out just for the sake of time and so here I'm pretty happy with what, I've, uh, what I'm left with here so what I'll do is I'll grab, I'll grab this and I can go ahead and create my post so I'm going to go to um, post now I have a I have a plugin that I've downloaded um, that allows me to clone a post. Now it's called, I can't remember the name of the plugin, but if you search for, um, if you search on YouTube on how to um, clone posts, it'll show you there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and clone this, this last one so it keeps the same format. It should just give me a, a a new one now with the word copy or copy so that I know that that's the one that I've cloned okay so here it is it's uh, it says copy so if I click on that if I click on edit I can now go ahead and change the head the heading so how to leverage Facebook uh, video to expand and to keep to expand your reach and keep your audience engaged. Okay. Now the this is the video here, so I've already got this pre set up. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and all I need is the YouTube video URL while it's uploading. Okay, that takes care of that. Don't have to make any changes. So that's done. Now I can go and Now that I've got this link here, uh, so what I'll do is I'll copy that because this becomes my post. Command C, I can edit that. Command A, delete, Command V, click on OK. So this becomes the post once I publish it, which I won't do just yet. So I'm going to copy that. And for people to share on Twitter, I'm going to click on here and I'm going to give them the link that I want them to share, which is the link to this post, which is this one here. Command V. No, that's not what I want. So I need to publish this, I think, for it to work. So now I've got a link that works, so I can copy that. Go back to the post. Um, what's happening there? Okay, so I can paste it in there. Paste it in there. This is for Twitter. This is for Google Plus. Insert. So that's they've all got the right link now. And I've got it one more down the bottom. So I'll click on that again three times. 
one, two, three, insert. Okay, and now I can just go and grab, I can get rid of all this. And I can just go and grab the text from Temi. Command C. And I can just drop that straight under the video here. Okay, and I might just paste it out so it's easier to read. I might. Uh, Imagine if we could use Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google. I'm going to just make that a little bit. I'll change the color. There's a color that I like to use. Just the corporate colors. My corporate colors. And then I'll just make that into a heading. Okay. So it just sort of breaks it up a little bit. Okay, that should be good enough. So the video's got the right link. Uh, I've got a bit of a headline there to break it up. I've got the content, I've got the right links on here. Uh, this is a free masterclass where So this way people can go and get some more free training if they want it from my website by clicking on this image which is already pre-formatted. Um, you don't have to have that, you could just have the post. Now I want to have a featured image here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Keynote where I created that um, post. There it is there. I'm just going to make it view, uh, zoom out, zoom in a little bit. Imagine if you could use light. I'm just going to play that. To syndicate content across multiple media platforms like Google, okay. LinkedIn. That is an image. Um, and then I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to remove featured image. Set featured image. Upload. Select files. In desktop because it's a screenshot. Okay, there's the image there, so I'm going to set featured image. There it is. So the blog is now ready. So I can update. Just check on YouTube processing is done. So here I can, this is what I can syndicate. So um, at the beginning I showed you how to upload the image. Um, this is what I should have done first. I should have uploaded the video that I created with uh, Keynote, not the first one, that I downloaded. And then I will syndicate that to LinkedIn, to Twitter, to Google Plus uh, with this link here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my Aweber account and I'm going to be in my AMF Bootcamp follow-up list. I'm going to go to Messages. I'm going to go to Broadcasts. Now, I've already created a template for my broadcast. So... Again, I'm not going to show you how to do all that on this video. Um, you need to spend a little bit of time setting everything up. Once you've got everything set up, then you can make this part of your routine. It shouldn't take you that long. And if you're not quite sure how to do that, um, just 
YouTube becomes your best friend. Just go to YouTube, how to create a broadcast template for Aweber. If you don't have an Aweber account, I'll include a link. Um, you get uh, 30 days free, and then it's $19 a month. So you can set that up. So here's my templates here. Okay, so I just need to change this part of it here. Hi, Fernando. Imagine if you could leverage your Facebook live video to expand your reach and increase engagement with your audience. Follow the link below. Okay. Here I'm going to change the image. So I'm just going to image gallery. I'm going to go to my images. I'm going to upload the image that I saved on the desktop. Because this is uploading it to Aweber. There's the image there now, so I'm just going to select that. And I just need to change the uh, image link. So I want this linking to my post, which is this link here. Copy link address. Go back to my Weber. And I'll put that in there. Sometimes it doesn't like it the first time. You might have to try a couple of times. So it's saying invalid input. Now it's accepted it. So that's going to point to that. So that's fine. And it's that simple. Download your video. Create a Upload to YouTube, syndicate, across social media platforms and share with your list. And I might just put here, I'll just get the post heading. Copy that, paste it there, double click on that, that'll change. I just need to get the link again. I'm pasting the link in there because I wanted it to go to my blog post, so I'll say OK. So that's now going to go to the blog post. So now I've got my banner, the right intro, the image with a link straight to the blog, a link to the blog for the people that want to see it down there. I'm going to save. I'm going to do a preview and test. Uh, subject line. Oops. We'll go with a subject line from Hey, first name. Here's how to leverage Facebook live video to expand your reach. Okay, save, send test to me. Go to my inbox. Inbox. Promotions is coming to my promotions. They're already there. Fernando. Hey, Fernando. He's had a leverage Facebook live video to expand your reach. Click on that. There it is there. If I click on the image, it should take me to my blog. And then... 
there's the blog content right there. So I might have to fix that up a little bit. I'm not going to bother too much for now because you can see it there. I just want to show you how to get it done. Okay, but you can come back. I can just come back to here. I'm not sure why that formatting is like that. It's being a little bit temperamental lately. That's okay. Just click on update. Alright, so that's now ready to send to my list. So I'm going to say save and exit. And then it says send options. So I'm going to go schedule a broadcast. Everything's there. What should who should receive this message? So I'm going to click on edit. Then I'm going to go include all lists, but then I'm going to take out the Spanish ones. Okay, so there's the list there, and I'm going to go apply, and then I can say send message now, and so that message is going to go out, send now, so now that's going out to everybody. So let's do a quick recap of what's happened here, right? So number one, I started by creating a Facebook Live, there it is there, which was a very short one for about a minute. I then downloaded that video using this extension for Chrome, Facebook Downloader. And I then went to Keynote and using my template, I created this video. I exported that as a video. I then uploaded that video uh, to YouTube there. I could then from here syndicate to LinkedIn. Uh, don't need to syndicate to Facebook because it was done on Facebook Live. I can do Twitter, I can do Google Plus. Uh, once I had this video link, right, I can then go ahead and create my post using the YouTube video link there. And I used Temi as the resource to transcribe 20 cents. It's a 10 cents a minute. So that gave me the uh, transcript, which I used for my blog post, which is right here. I took a screenshot uh, on YouTube of the video and used that as my image. Sorry, I used that as my featured image down the bottom here, right? and also used that on Aweber to create my broadcast. Okay, so that's going out right now as we speak. And so, with that, you now have a step by step process on how to leverage Facebook Live video across multiple platforms to create a post on your blog and also to send as an email. Uh, to your list, uh, which you can do twice a week. I'll include um, some of the resources here. I might include Aweber. Um, so actually, I might put them on the post. Uh, I'll, I'll save them later. I won't do it on this video. But I'll include the list so you can get a copy of You can get your Aweber account if you don't have one. And also any other resources that you may need. So that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. Any questions, let me know. Send me a private message. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it makes a difference. And if you'd love to know how you can work more closely with me, um, head over to my blog at fernandeloaza.com. Apply to work with Fernando. Uh, wishing you every ongoing success, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.